I could go on all day about Captain America Civil War, but I'll be brief by simply stating an easy 10 out of 10. I found nothing majorly wrong about the movie, just little things to nitpick about, but Civil War was funny, action-packed, and all in all, a masterpiece. I was Team Iron Man simply because of Spider-Man to start, but I soon felt as if Captain America was being a real mean meanie and felt Tony Stark side. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say. I can't say what I originally wrote. That's how you just describe it. Yeah. Captain America is a big baby. <laughs> okay. All right. Is this, is this still recording? Yeah. Okay. I was Team Iron Man simply because of Spider Man to start, but I. <laughs> Uh, What's another nice word for asshole? Billy. Oh, wait, can we get the bleep button? Nice <laughs> Yeah. We can do that. Alright, got it. I was Team Iron Man simply because of Spider Man to start, but I soon felt as if Captain America was being a perp. <laughs> <laughs> I was Team Iron <laughs> Okay. I was Team Iron simply because of Spider Man to start, but I soon felt as if Captain America was being a real mean person. <laughs> Tony Stark. I don't know what to say. I can't say asshole. Just say it and, and later edit it. That's what I would do. All right, fine. I was Team Iron simply because of Spider Man to start, but I soon felt as if Captain America was being an asshole and felt Tony Stark's side. The Russo brothers know how to tell a story, and I felt as if I was getting a Captain America three, an Iron Man four, and an Avengers three all in one movie. Though the amount of times they mentioned Age of Ultron, it felt like an Avengers sequel. Ah, the biggest part of this movie, the most reason I was excited about it, Spider-Man. Spider-Man was exactly what I wanted, and I admit a tear fell out of my face when Tony Stark... <sighs> Let's try this again. Spider-Man was exactly what I wanted, and I'll admit a tear fell down when he first met Tony Stark, a longtime Spider-Man fan's dream come true. Tom Holland was perfect. Ant-Man was another one I loved, and knowing Ant-Man was my favorite MCU movie till now, I wasn't disappointed. There's one scene where I almost peed myself. I screamed so loud of joy, no thanks to him. But the one who stole the entire movie, the crowning jewel of Captain America Civil War, was Black Panther. He was in the movie a lot, and he stole the show. I was I wasn't really excited about him until now, which made me more surprised that I loved him more than my favorite superhero. He rocks, and thanks to a little, little post credit scene, I'm very excited for his solo movie. Baron Zemo was actually great, but some of his scenes did nothing to the movie and slowed down the pace. He was a trickster and diabolical, and I thought he was fine. Some of the Avengers had less screen time than others, but uh, all of them had their moments to shine. And the third act shocked me so much I had chills the rest of the night. No, I'm just, I have to, <laughs> you're gonna I have that to that film the last part. Can you just get, I have to I have to film the last part. <laughs> I'm not a radical man. All right, I have to film the last part. All right, this part I have to be on camera, so start over. Get a new shot. Okay. I'm going to start over. That was a very disruptive service announcement, and now we are get down. No, I'm not, I'm keeping that in the video. I'm just not. I don't want it to go overboard. Well, I'm sorry for that, everyone. That was very interesting. Um, well, it's that time of the year. It's summer movie season, and we're kicking it off with one of the most anticipated movies of 2016, and also probably my most anticipated movie of the year, Captain America: Civil War. And let's just say I was not disappointed. Uh, today's episode. Cinema Crazy, we're going to take a dive through Captain America Civil War. A 10 out of 10, the very first 10 out of 10 movie ever. In the end, Civil War was everything that I wanted and even better. 10 out of 10 stars. I, I just forget what I'm going to say. All right. In the end, Civil War was everything I wanted and even more, and made me eager for what will happen in... I'm practicing, god damn it. Okay.
In the end, Civil War was everything I wanted and even more, and I can't wait to see what they do with Marvel from now on. Probably my favorite superhero movie and probably the best superhero movie ever made. 10 out of 10. One last thing to say, keep it out. You know what the best part is? Bye. You turn it off now. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know. I just wait to see his reaction. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Apparently Anthony's my producer and has to make sure I'm perfect.